Is this really what we could be proud of? Is this what we aspire a nation to sit on? A heap of waste? A common sight? The waste we create is everywhere. On the streets, main roads, and choking the very lifeline of our civilization, the rivers. We and our system, for the better part, learn to adjust. Because in India, everything chalta hai. But it's time to wake up and act. Because if we don't, there's a polluted and choked future waiting ahead of us. But all it needs to solve the problem is a simple realization that waste isn't completely waste after all. That's the story we tell today of an effort that has made a small difference in a small town and yet stands as a big example. This fort is a landmark. It was termed the Pearl Among Forts by the Mughal Emperor Babur and many call it the Gibraltar of India. And it is the epitome of the city it looks over, Gwalior. The city of Gwalior stands beautiful and clean, just below you. It carries its past elegantly, with the promise of a bright, clean and green future. You may get an idea of what India might look like if it were such clean everywhere. And this is partly the result of our efforts. We at AKC Developers recycle much of Gwalior's waste to produce eco-friendly, usable products such as refuse-derived fuel or RDF and organic fertilizer. We do it in our integrated waste recycling plant, a public-private partnership arrangement with the Municipal Corporation of Qualia on build, own, operate and transfer basis. The project has been awarded to AKC developers by the Gwalior Municipal Corporation for a period of 25 years. In a commendable move, the corporation has fully participated in the planning of the project and has extended full support to AKC developers. The biggest example in this pristine land in which the AKC developers plant is housed. We work with the philosophy, reduce, reuse and recycle. Our efforts start every morning. As Gwalior wakes up, the municipal corporation collects the garbage from the doorsteps of its residents. Through a thoroughly scientific, mechanized and organized procedure. Then, the trucks collect the waste from the garbage yard and bring it to an integrated waste recycling plant. This plant is an advanced one that has the capability to process the complicated mixed solid waste. It can recycle 300 tons every day. In the process chain, the wet organic waste is segregated first. Then, the solid waste is separated in stages. First comes the turn of the solid organic waste. Our technology allows us to carry on the process even during rain when humidity is around 80%. For segregating the recyclable waste, metal detectors are used to separate the metal content. The plastic is also separated and then processed to make plastic ingots for producing more plastic. A portion of the organic waste also goes in for the production of refuse-derived fuel. This green fuel then is marketed as an industrial fuel in the vicinity. RDF is a practical alternative for coal. The rest comes back in use for composting. 
These small hutments emulate the process that is close to what is done in many farmers' premises. There are pits in which organic waste is poured in for composting. The product, an organic fertilizer, is mixed with extra nutrients, then packaged and sold to the local farmers under the brand name Sitara. Being organic, that is not consisting of any chemical, it improves the quality, texture and taste of fruits, vegetables and grains. The natural release of nutrients to plants in a slow and steady manner helps the process. Satara stimulates the root development and structural growth of plants, making them tolerant to adverse conditions like heat, cold and drought. It maintains the soil fertility, increases the microbial population and improves the aeration of the soil. Satara also reclaims saline and alkaline soil. Crops require lesser irrigation because Satara increases the water holding capacity of the soil. It also increases the farm yield around 30%. This cost-effective product is a boom for the farmers. Then we put the separated waste into use. 20% of the solid waste, mostly the inert waste, is put into scientific landfill. The land may be used as a park or garden after the landfill is closed. One example is the Indraprastha Park in New Delhi. This three-kilometer-long park is the longest in the city. It has been built on land-filled land. The sand and granular elements go into making of eco-bricks. The result of our efforts are just around us. Despite dealing in waste every day, we are in absolute harmony with the environment around us. Unlike most industrial units, we keep the ecological balance that houses us. No wonder then that we can even experience relaxed moments here. It is so much evident all around us. Regular collection of waste helps in production in greenhouse gas emission and in better carbon management. Scientific landfill helps us in keeping groundwater uncontaminated. The RDF is designed to divert combustible fractions from municipal solid wastes to produce fuel. It is a substitution for fossil fuel, mainly coal, especially in brick kilns, cement factories, dyeing, processing, etc. It reduces global warming without compromising in quality. It generates an energy of 3,800 kg calorie. An organic fertilizer is increasingly in use for preservation of soil fertility. This plant is now an integral part of Gwalior's infrastructure, nestled in the beautiful valley on the outskirts of Gwalior. It is an example of a better life through waste management. There are 300 million people in more than 5,000 cities in India. Together, they produce nearly 42 million tons of solid waste every year. The collection efficiency is presently high but very little effort and resource go to its recycling and management. Most of the waste is dumped crudely. That's why the 12th Finance Commission has prescribed outsourcing of the waste management process. The result in the AKC developers plant in Gwalior is an example of this philosophy. What we decide today will ensure whether the future of urban India is grey or green.